what we have here is a representation of space. And this model is a representation, representation of Einstein's theory of gravitation and his belief that space was like a fabric, and they called it the fabric of time. This works really good for us because this is an actual fabric, okay? So in this model, things that travel through space when there's nothing around travel straight, okay? Notice, straight traveling. And this was true in our simulations that we did online. But when we add something with that has gravity like a planet or let's say a star, I'm going to add something that has a great mass. Notice how it warps space-time. And the same things that I pushed across that went straight now curve. And if, notice we see the ellipses we saw the other day. If they hit at different angles, they can make really nice orbits, you see. And if you start adding more things that were in there, you now get solar systems that can be formed. Now our model does break down after a while and it shows that everything is spiraling towards and will end up in the star, but that's not true in real life. That's where this model does have a, a break in its success. Okay, but some other things that we can see is when we have smaller things, if we have a, a, a planet and a moon, let's say, and we send them together, notice how they interact together because there is miniature subtleties in the space-time around it. So that, that one was also pulling it towards it. Okay, one more time. Notice how it, almost, it goes around it, like almost orbiting it. These are not magnetic. These are just normal steel ball bearings, okay? Another thing we can simulate here is the early solar system. Now it doesn't work all the time, but in the right now everything's going in the same direction. Was it always that way? Probably not. Things cleared itself out that were going the opposite way. So we're gonna put things in opposite directions and hopefully towards the end of it we'll see some sort of uniformity. Okay. Ooh. In the end, well, in this one, we only had one in uniform, okay? And that was the last one. And there are solar systems with one planet. Earlier today, I lucked out and I got one that had, after they all smashed and crashed, we had four, four planets still orbiting, all in a similar direction. Now, it's all random, and that's what happens. Oh. Ooh, they missed. Oh. They keep missing. Those guys missed until the bitter end. Okay. Um, one last thing we could look at is even these individual small bodies. Okay. They all, even when pushed together, they will eventually clump together. Because gravity brings things together, like in the early solar systems. I can be the gravity too. I am magic. And cut. <laughs>